All right, then welcome back, everyone. Let's solve this question. Basketball together. Now, this question perfectly lives up uh, to the greedy tag given to us. I'll quickly summarize the question for you. So, there is some basketball competition being held where number of players in the team does not have to be like does not have a bound. It, they can be any value greater than zero. So, apparently, I guess basketball uh, you can only have five players per team. <laughs> not aware of uh, basketball. I don't follow basketball that much. But yeah, so in this uh, basketball competition, there is no bound on number of players in a team. There are n candidate players in the competition, and each one of them has some power, which is given by uh, this uh, PI. So you have n players, and for each one of them, you are given a power, which is given by this array PI. So P1 is a power for first candidate, and so on and so forth. Now this Pak Chenik, he is I guess the coach, uh, wants to form zero or more teams from this n candidates on a condition that uh, each player may only join uh, at most one team. A player can be part of at most one team. Okay, fine. Now, a team defeats uh, another team. So, that's what they have given here. A team defeats another team if sum of powers from all the formed players is strictly greater than this uh, constant D. Right? And uh, what this another thing that they have given is this coach has a special skill. He can change the power of each player in the team equal to the biggest player power. Right? So, once he has formed a team, all the players will have power equal to the largest player power in the team. So, the question is uh, pretty simple. Uh, what they have given is you have n candidate players and you have a uh, some power associated with each one of them given by this array pi and uh, you want to form some teams so t1 t2 so these teams are greater than equals to 0 t1 t2 so on and uh, what you want to find out is what you want to find out is number of teams so number of teams such that such that their team power so what's the team power sum of power of uh, all the players team power is greater than d so important thing is this is strictly greater than d okay so it has to be strictly greater than d Given n candidate players, you want to form some number of teams greater than or equals to 0. You want to find out number of teams such that the team power is greater than D. Skill for this coach, given a team, uh, each player's power is equal to is equal to the maximum player power in the team. Also, uh, we want to maximize this number of wins. right? So, we want to form teams in such a way that uh, number of wins is maximized. Right? The number of teams that win is maximized. So, I hope the question is clear. Now, how should you approach this question? Now, the first rudimentary step is a look at the constraints. So, what are the constraints? The constraint is like n is less than equals to 1 e 5. This d and a power of a player is less than equals to 1 e 9. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's it. There is no number of test cases input here. So, this is uh, the constraint that you have 1 e 5. Okay. Uh, but the powers there are here are 1 e 9. Okay. Uh, this So, you will have just an array which contains 1 e 5 elements. So, of course, when you want to do some summation and all, you have to take care of integer overflow because 1 e 9 into 1 e 5 is 1 e 14, which does not fit into integer. So, yeah, uh, firstly, you will have to use long long whenever you want to perform addition. Uh, that's one hint. Uh, and you can uh, uh, run an order of in loop. That's no problem. In login also works. Okay. The another observation uh, that we have is uh, we should try to exploit uh, this, uh, the skill of the coach that all the players, all the players, in a team, all the players in a team gets biggest player power. All the players in the team gets the biggest player power. So it automatically gives you a hint, like you can say a greedy strategy that uh, we want to uh, try to preserve, try to preserve the players, try to preserve the players with bigger powers, right? So, you want to use them uh, with very much care. So, for a given uh, player with the maximum, uh, let's say, power, you'll try to pick, uh, you'll try to, you'll try to pick uh, players with the less power with it. Because anyway, they are going to get the power of, you can say, the macho man, right? So, uh, with a very strong person, you will just give very, you can say, uh, timid persons and you'll form a great team, right? Because the coach has a skill that all the timids will uh, be buffed up to the player uh, who is the macho man of the team, right? So, that should be a greedy strategy, right? Uh, so, a greedy strategy that clearly comes to your mind is uh, put many lower power players with a player with very high power. Now, what does it mean actually? So, let's take an example here. I'll take the same example uh, for the code forces. So, what is the input that they've given? Now, for simplicity, simplicity's sake, since I want to look at the player with the higher powers, uh, sorting comes naturally, right? So, if you are in this playlist, of course, uh, you would have thought, okay, so let's just first sort the array because looking at the random array is not making much sense. So let's just uh, sort the array. The sorted array will look like this. And I've taken the same example from the cold forces 50, 60, 80, 90, and 100. Right? So, and of course, the D was here 180. Now, sorting was first obvious step uh, to look at the array in a more uh, cleaner way. 
Now what you want to do is you want to uh, line up uh, the player with a higher power with the, the player with lower power, right? So for this guy, for this guy, I want to take this guy. That is my better decision. Why? Because this guy will anyway buff of this, right? So 100 will be lined up with 50. So now you have two players and uh, this player also get a power of 100. So you will have a team of this 100 guy and this 50 guy and this will all in all give a total power of 200. Because 50 will also be turned up to 100. Fine. So it will be greater than 180. Good. What next? So this 90, uh, then, okay, so that's one team. Now, what about the next team? Let me just use a different color here. This 90, if I pair up with 60, then this 60 will also get the same power of 90, right? So automatically, now your total team power is 90 plus 90, 180. But it's still not enough. We have to go beyond 180, remember? So let's just take 80 then. Now you have uh, three players with the power of 90, right? So now this will form 270. So now you can have one more team here whose total power is 270. Okay, the second team wins like this. The 70, like either you can decide to include it or keep it independent, but it's not making you win, right? So that was the greedy strategy. What you're trying to do is you are trying to, uh, for a given, uh, for a single player with a higher power, you take as many power, as many less power players. So for a given player at the right, you try to take as many players from the left as possible. And it makes sense logically. I don't think you require a concrete proof that uh, for a single player here, you will always pick other players from the left until you are crossing this uh, threshold 180 or D here. And if that is still confusing to you, I'll give an example, a contradictory example. I just take an example like this uh, of player powers 1, 1, 1, 1 and 7. Okay. For uh, this guy, 1, 1, 7 and uh, let's just take here 10. Okay. Now, uh, if you just take this 7 and 10 in one step and let's say the D was some 14. If you take 7 and 10 in one step, you will be able to form one team, just one team. But if you would have taken this 10, 10 and uh, this one, you have now a team, uh, like let me call this team 1, whose team power is 20, right? So you got one team and now with this 7 also, you got a chance to form a new team, right? So you're always better off instead of this two, like picking, given a player from right, instead of picking a member just to its left, you're always better off picking a member from its left, like from the farthest end, from the leftmost end, right? Instead of picking a guy just before it, you're better off picking a guy from far left, right? Because that will give you an advantage. So I'll do a dry run in one example and I'll be able to explain you this uh, strategy much better with the code because it's more about how you implement this. Uh, so I'll just do a dry run here on the same example. So we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay. Now what next? Like how do you want to do it? So I'll try to form teams, right? So I'll try to form for a given player from the right. I'll try to pick as many players from the left, right? Cool. So let's just uh, include 100 in our team. So let me just uh, name it as a pointer G. Uh, and I'll maybe maintain a variable which holds uh, what is the current power of the team. So current power of the team is 100. And uh, is the current power greater than D? So D is 180, right? So is the current power greater than D? No, it is not greater than uh, D. So I'll maybe maintain a one more pointer here. So I'll increment that pointer and make it point to 50. So now my total team power is 200. Oh yes. So my team power has become 200. So I'll increment my total number of wins here. My total number of wins were zero. Now it has become one. Now I formed a team with a player power greater than D. So I'll quickly make a new team, right? Because I want to utilize this uh, players with high power with caution. I want to use them with the lower power players, right? So now I formed a team. So I'll move this J here, move this J here. And now my current player power has become 90, right? So this is my new team right now. Is it greater than 180? No, it is not greater than 180. So I'll move this I pointer ahead. So now my player power has become 90 and there is one more player which gets its power because of the skill that the coach has. So now your total power is 180. It's 180. It's not uh, greater than 180. So you still have to go ahead. So I'll not move the J point because I want to utilize the timid players, right? So then I'll come here. Now I have three players, 60, 70, 90, but all of them gets the power of 90. So your total power is 270. Total power becomes 270. Yes, I'll increment my win. And there you go. Now, now what? Now, of course, I'll try to make a, a team with the next highest power player. I'll try to make a form, try to make a team with this 80 guy. So current is 80. Now, current is 80. Uh, can you form a team? No. So I'll try to take a player, but yeah, see, uh, I don't have any more players remaining. I'll stop. Cool. Yeah. So I guess uh, that's the trident. I'll explain it uh, one more time during the code walkthrough. But yeah, that's about this question. Let's uh, quickly go through sublime and uh, look at the code walkthrough for this. 
okay guys uh, let's quickly implement this one so i've already taken the input of uh, nd uh, d being the threshold and rr is the powers uh, you can see here i used long long here because additions can go above 1e14 so that's the reason i have taken uh, long long now what next uh, what we are supposed to do uh, for a given player from the rightmost end that is with a bigger power we want to take as many players from the left end uh, as possible we are being greedy here right so i'll maintain two pointers here uh, first pointer will be keeping track of players on the left i will be minus one since we are not taking any player from the left right now and the one player that we are taking from right now right now is uh, j uh, one thing i have to of course initialize a variable which keeps track of number wins it will be zero here and uh, since we are including one player from the right uh, at the start i'll initialize uh, the current team power to be area of j right so that's what it is uh, the initially the team power you have is player with the biggest power fine and uh, what we want to do is uh, till there is a player left to consider so we'll come back to this condition in a bit till there is a player left to consider uh, but first uh, things first what we need to do is uh, we need to figure out uh, what is the maximum power uh, that we have right now so that maximum power uh, will be so i'll write a proper comment here find the maximum power so this is a power that we'll know we have to add uh, if the current power team power is not gone beyond d okay so the maximum team power will be what it will be equal uh, to the player with the biggest power right so right now it is like j will always point to the player with the biggest power if you observe of course it will happen if we sort the array first right we have to first sort the array so that was uh, first obvious thing but is first sort the array so all the powers are in ascending order right so now the maximum power will be equal to area of j right so they always they will always point uh, to the player with the biggest power okay we have found the biggest power now what if the current team power is still less than d you will have to consider a player from left right take a player from left so we'll have to increment i i plus plus and you'll have to add to current team power what the maximum player's power max p so that was the reason why we find out uh, max p here cool if it is not uh, like if it has gone beyond the threshold we have made a win right if current is greater than d we have made a win and now we'll consider the player uh, we'll consider the player with the next higher power right we'll come back one step now here you can write current equals to arr of j right you have you decremented you will go one step back from this 100 uh, to, of course once you sort it it will become like 50 60 70 80 90 and 100 right so we'll go back to 90 there's just one thing here uh, like what if you only had one element if you had only one element 100 then after you have a uh, processed it uh, j will become minus one so you cannot uh, make current like you cannot have area of minus one right so we'll have to write one condition here if j is greater than equals to zero uh, then only make current equals to zero right so we are considering the next uh, player with the next bigger power here cool and uh, yeah i mean uh, that's that and in the end you can print wins cool there's only one thing remaining like what is the stop condition here what do you think should be the stop condition the stop condition will be uh, when i reaches j right so let's say you are at 100 and this threshold is very big right so i i came here came here 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 and still like you are not winning and i will eventually come here so now you will not consider this 100 again right so once i is equals to j you can stop right so while i less than j so while you have not considered all the players uh you will first find out the maximum power okay if uh the current power current team power has not gone beyond the threshold you will add a player you will increment you will basically take a new player from the left and add it to the current team power and then go again go again if the current team power has gone beyond d you will increment uh, you will increment wins and you will consider the player with the next higher power and for the next team the power starts with the error of j just to avoid underflow uh, going beyond from the left you are making sure that you only like you only uh, reset this current to error of j and these are equal to zero this condition like uh, one important thing is guys uh, this condition uh, will change depending upon how you initialize this variables okay so it's completely up to you how do you want to implement it uh, the same code can be implemented by a different initialization of i and j uh, feel free to like experiment uh, your codes and paste in the comments i'll be happy to discuss it with you uh, but this implementation works uh, that is pretty simple you want to assign a very timid player with a macho man okay <laughs> that's a simple thing how implement is is up to you but, uh, important thing is there are no test cases here so don't take the test case input let's just uh, run it I think it works. I'll quickly submit it. Yeah, it works. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.